position where we can see you on the floor when you're totally long on the floor, see your entire body, and when you're standing up. So always play your camera to make sure you can see that or as close as possible with the space you have. We are going to get into our PFT test to get warmed up, but in order to do that, first we need to get warmed up to warm up, and then we're going to get into the real stuff. We're doing all kinds of craziness for a while. So let's just get started. Let's get warmed up. Shake it out your shoulders while you're moving. <laughs> All right, guys, and while you're warming up, just like with any exercise program, you should consult your doctor for performing any of these online workouts. If you feel any faintness, dizziness, shortness of breath, or pain, you should stop immediately, and all these videos are for educational purposes only and should not replace the advice of your physician. So go forward with the arms when you're walking forward, backwards with the arms when you're walking backwards. Just keep the legs moving, arms moving, and fling it and catch it for a stretch. Fling that shoulder, catch it for a stretch. Fling it open. Catch the other side. There's two cameras that I'm on, so if you want to stick on one, do the one that's going straight up and down where you can see the entire body from on the floor. Fling it open, stretch the other side. Get in the blood flow and get it loosened up. You're doing all kinds of craziness you need to be prepared. All right, you're gonna go right into a quad stretch, quad stretch, knee hug, knee hug. All four of those. Hold for as long as you need to. One to three seconds for each one. So one to three seconds on quad, one to three seconds on the other quad, knee hug, knee hug. You hold for as long as you need to. You know how long you need to hold it for. So hold it, the leg you're standing on, make sure that knee is slightly bent. You're also warming that leg up, getting it ready to work. Then bring that knee up to the chest, stretch it, stretch it. Couple more times each, just roll through it. Focusing on that balance at the same time. Bring that knee up, stretch it, get those hips. Stretch out. You know you're starting off with a PFT stage and you can get those muscles warmed up. So we're going to go with a walking squat thrust. Keep your feet about shoulder width apart. You're going to squat down, step back with your right leg, step back with your left leg, step back in with right, in with left, and stand up. Then you're going to alternate, step back with your left leg first the next time. You're just getting ready for the squat thrust that you're going to do in the PFT. So squat down, left leg back, right leg back, left leg in. Right leg in and up. Hold each position for about a second because you want to open those hips up. Get that upper body, lower body warmed up. So don't rush through this. Step and stretch that hip. Step and hold. Step. Stretch this other hip. Step. Hold. Open up your inner thighs. So use this walking squat thrust as a warm up. Getting your body moving, getting your blood flowing. Yes, right there. It's, just, it's, it's just a squat thrust. It's not a crawl out. It's not a crawl out. It's your hands stay in place. It's not a mountain climber, not a crawl out. Squat down, step, step. As you get more, loosen up your hips. Let's get three more, but go a little faster. Three more. Go a little faster on the walking squat. They're still walking, but just down. Step, 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 and come up. Down. Step, 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 and come up just to get the pace going a little bit more. And time. So just to get warmed up for the push-ups, I want you to hold the push-up position and bring the feet apart about shoulder width and just do nice slow alternating shoulder taps just for about 10 seconds. Push-up position, feet apart, alternating shoulder taps, just about 10 seconds. Just want to get your upper body warmed up, get it ready for the push-ups you're about to do. You're about to do a minute of push-ups. Just want to get that upper body loosened up. Get yourself shifted, get your core engaged, get locked in place, ready to roll. Stiff as a board, and good, come up on your feet. So let's get a, a full deep squat here. Full deep squat, come up and get that knee hug again. Full deep squat, knee hug. So the PFT, if you don't know it, it's a minute of, minute of push-ups, a minute of squat thrusts, a minute of crawl outs, and a minute of plank walks. In that order, there'll be a break in between. You'll have time in between for us to go over how the workout's gonna go to get one little slight, small little home piece of equipment you'll end up needing later on in one round. So we'll do that on the breaks. So the squat, knee hug. Squat, knee hug left. A couple more times each side, keep it rolling. Drop into that squat, full deep squat, getting those legs ready. And that's what you just bounce it out. Just bounce it out on your feet and just shake it out. Take those arms out. Get your blood flowing. Start mentally preparing yourself for what you're about to do. Shake those arms, stretch them, rotate them, do what you have to do, get some blood flowing, 
Get the blood pumping through your body. Because we're going to be going for a minute of push-ups coming up. So if you need to, grab a hold of something on a wall, whatever. Stretch your chest out for a second. Stretch both sides. Get ready. Get pumped up. Get warmed up. Get mentally focused. Physically prepared. We're going to go for a minute of push-ups. Let's do it. Let's get up. So listen, listen. This is before we get started. On the push ups while I'm saying this, I want you to do light jacks on your feet, legs only. Light jacks on your feet. Just keep the blood flowing. On push ups, this PFT is all about you. It's not about you worrying about getting more numbers than someone else. It's about you doing better than you did last time. In order for you to know if you did better than last time, you have to make all the parameters the same, consistent. So if you did a push up, a real push up, all the way down to the floor on one week, and you only did 15 of them, and the next week you just did this, and you say you did 51, that's not consistent. That's not telling us you got improvement. So however you did them, make sure you do them the same. So a real full push-up is feet together, heel to heel, toe to toe, hands under your shoulders, your chest touching the floor, and your arms fully extended. If you want to go for a full, full push-up, and if you do them that way, I guarantee you won't see any numbers of 40 and 50. Guarantee it. But if you need to modify, then you're going to get 40-50. But just know that you're always doing it the same way. Thumbs up. Yes, does that make sense? Stay consistent with the way you do it so you know if you're improving. All right, let's do it. We're getting a push-up position. We know way you're going to do them. You need to modify the modify. You need to do it angled up somewhere angled up. If you want to do a full one, put your feet together. We got a minute coming up of push-ups. You're in the push-up position. Going in three, two, one, and go. 60 seconds of push-up. If you want to do a full, complete push-up, touch your chest to the floor, and fully extend your arm to the top. That is a real push-up. Not a YouTube or internet push-up. A real push-up. You're 15 seconds in. Keep those back straight. Add strong. You're working your chest, your shoulders, your tries. Make sure you fully extend over the top. Breathe out. If your nose the way down, out and out the way up. You're 25 seconds in. Straight, strong, stiff as a board. Just block it out. Breathe, breathe, pumping it. You got 25 seconds left. Drive, drive, drive. You're not stopping. You're not stopping. You're not coming down. It's a minute in the air. Drive, straight, stiff. Your ears line up with your shoulder, line up with your hip, line up with your knee, line up with your ankle. Straight, strong, stiff, fine. You got 10 seconds. 10 seconds. Breathe, breathe. Don't dip your neck down to your body straight. Ronnie, don't dip your neck. In three, two, one, and time. Up on your feet, shake it out. So we got a two minute rest in between just to stay, but this needs to be an active rest. Coming up is squat thrust. Squat thrust for 60 seconds straight. So stretch that chest, stretch the shoulders. You know you have squat thrust coming up, stretch those quads. This is a time break. You will never get a two minute break on my watch ever, except on a PFT, just because we need to keep everything consistent. So we know if it's always a one minute set, Exactly a two minute break and another one minute set. It keeps it consistent with previous months. Just keep stretching, keep moving. So a squat thrust. Squat down, dump your feet back, dump them forward, and come up. Now listen, I know we do exercises. We still have a minute, 10 seconds, so we're good. Just keep shaking, keep moving, keep stretching. I know we do different exercises here for 45 seconds a lot, 40 seconds, 30 seconds, and 60 seconds. But what you tend to do is, you know that you have four or five things in a row, so you don't go at 100% intensity. This PFT is designed to go all out. You cannot pace yourself. Literally, after this minute of squat thrust, you should feel completely shot, like you can't do another thing. Because I, I see it when I'm in the, in the session there, that when we have like a 45 second or a minute, minute set, we kind of pace ourselves. We're already thinking about the stuff in front of us. Imagine if we just went all out every single set. How much more benefit we get out of this? We got about 30 seconds. Keep moving. Keep that blood flowing. Shaking it out. Shake those arms. Stretch the legs. If you need to modify the squat thrust, do what we did in the warm up, the walking squat thrust. Just go as fast as you can. If you need to angle yourself up on a couch or a chair or whatever, just keep it consistent with the way you do it all the time. We got squat thrust coming up in 10. So get ready. Don't forget you're squatting down, jumping back, jumping in. Standing up all the way straight. You need to fully extend your hips. Squat thrust going in three, two, one, and boom. We're on the move. Squat thrust. How many can you get in 60 seconds? This needs to be all out. This is not pacing yourself. 
This is like down at it up, down at it up, down at it up. Pop, 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 pop. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. That's the way you need to approach this. All out. Stop pacing. I see a little too many of you pacing yourselves. This should be an all out sprint. Doing this like it's the last minute of the workout, like it's the last minute of your life. Like this is all you have are these 35 seconds coming up. 35 seconds. Pick up the pace. Make sure you're keeping count of how many you're getting in this 60 seconds. You need to attack this. Attack. All out. You're not going all out. You're wasting your time. You're not going to get a maximum set. Full speed. Down, out, in, up. We got 15 seconds. We're rolling. We're rolling. Attack it. Add strong when you're jumping back there. Do what you got to do. Keep it moving. Five seconds. Don't slow down. Squeeze in one or two more. Don't wait. And pop the right back down. And time. You should be writing down your numbers on a piece of paper. You should have a paper and pen there. Write down your number for squat thrust. You have a two-minute break that already started. The second that set ended, that two minutes started. Immediately, immediate clock. So coming up next is crawl outs. The best way to do it, keep wide on your shoulder width. Squat down, crawl out to a full push-up position, crawl back in and squat up. If you lean over at the waist, that's going to slow you down and make you weaker. You want to use your legs. So drop into a squat. When you come up, you want to thrust out of the squat. So bend your legs and extend. And then bend them coming back up. Don't keep your legs straight. It's going to make you slow and not as efficient or strong. So we still have a minute and 20 seconds, minute 15 seconds. So you're good. Just keep stretching. If you don't need a break after a minute of squat thrust, you did not go all out and you're bullshitting. I need you to push the pace on these minutes. It's literally a minute. All out, full blast is the way you need to go after this. You need to attack this minute. So we got a minute left coming up. Again, the crawl out. Wide feet. The best you can put your feet wherever you want. I'm just telling you what works for me and what you the best is a little wider in shoulder width. Squat down, crawl out, push up position, crawl back in, stand up, right back down. You need to be holding those hands fast. Quick, pop, pop, pop. But you need to stand up fully straight with your hips extended. This is the perfect warm up to the work we're about to get into. Got about 30 seconds, and we're rolling. Keep it moving. Keep stretching. Stretch those shoulders. Don't just stand around. That blood should be flowing. Getting ready for this set. This is going to be upper and lower body on this pull out. Stretch that chest, the shoulders. Keep them flowing. You got 10 seconds. Crawl outs coming up in five, four, three, two, one, and attack. These need to be fast. Walk those hands. Pull them up. Pull them up. Back in and stand up. Feet wide, strong, stance. Full speed, as many as you can get in this minute. That's only 15 seconds in. Know what your number was from last month. Always review your numbers so you can go all out and attack this. Fall out. All the way out. Push up this and fall back in. Stand up. It's all out for a minute. If you're not, are not already sweating, you're doing something wrong. Your heart rate's not already up. You're doing something wrong. You got 30 seconds. Let's go. Do not stop. Once you're up, you're on your way back down. Once you're down, you're on your way back up. Let's go, Jackie. Keep rolling. Keep rolling. Don't rest at the top. There's no rest. It's a minute of all out attack. Keep banging. Keep banging. You got 10 seconds. You got 10 seconds. You can squeeze in two or three more in 10 seconds. Fast hands. Bow, 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 bow. And time. Write down your number. Shake it out. The two minute break already started. Next up is gonna be a plank walk. You're going from a low plank up to a high plank. Watch closely how I'm doing this. So you, your elbows are lined up directly on your shoulders. You have to let go of your hand and put your hand exactly where your elbow was on the floor, put the other one here, back down and back down. So you're not just doing this. So literally, where my elbow is touching on the floor, I have to let go and put my hand in that same spot. I'm not just going to push up off the floor. Move around, shake out, plank walk coming up from low plank up to high plank. How many can you get? You got about a minute, 10 seconds before you get started. How many can you get in a minute? Challenge yourself, push yourself, test yourself. Do not pace yourself on these minutes. Do not pace yourself on any set, really. Every time you know you have 30 minutes of an exercise, Go all out. Bust your ass for that entire 30 seconds. Deal with the next step when you get there. Especially on this test, you know you're going to have that break coming up. This is the last exercise of the PFT already. 
You already did push up, squat thrust, crawl out, and now plank roll. This is it. We get into the games. All right, we got 35 seconds before we get rolling. Keep stretching, stretching those shoulders. You're gonna be coming up and down. You need those triceps loose. Stretch those tries if you need to behind your head. Rotate those shoulders. Keep that blood flowing. Bounce it out like you're ready to go to battle because you are. Be ready for war. Be ready to attack the chaos. 20 <laughs> seconds before rolling. Stretch those legs just because they're tightened up. You need to be stiff. Loosen up that back. Stretch your hamstrings. Shake it. Move it. Blood is flowing. Blood is pumping. We are ready to go in 10. So get down the floor, get on your stomach, get in one of those repetitions, going in four, three, two, one, and plank walk from low plank to high plank. How many can you get in a minute? Keep your back straight. Make sure your hand comes off the floor and goes in that exact spot where your elbow was. Ronnie, make sure your hand is coming off and touching the floor where your elbow was. I'm telling you, because I can see you, a lot of you are hiding up down on the on the camera. There you go, Mark. There you go. Take that hand completely off, and it goes, moves onto the floor, the exact spot that the elbow is touching. A lot of you have your cameras way too low for us to see you on the ground. We need to be able to see you down there. We need to learn how to position the cameras that we can see you the entire way. If you have to put your camera long ways up and down, do that. We got 20 seconds. 20 seconds. We are not stopping. We are not stopping. We are rolling. Also, remember how you do this. You can stay consistent next month when you do the PFT. Eight seconds. Eight seconds. Keep banging them, keep banging them. The time is not up. You are not stopping. It's a freaking minute. Time. Write down your number. <laughs> Shake it out. All right, listen clearly. You have about 20 seconds before we get to the next one. What I need you to do is realize what kind of surface you're on. I need you to go find something you can put under your feet that'll slide on that surface. So if you're on a tile, all you need to do is get two towels. If you're on a carpet, all you need is two pieces of cardboard or two paper plates. Anything you can put under your feet. You got 30 seconds to go find something. So put it under your feet, to use as sliders. Depending on the surface you're on, there's tons of different things you can use. Even if you're on concrete, you can use Frisbees. You can use furniture movers. There's so much stuff you can use to slide your feet on, no matter what surface you're on. If you're on a carpet, it's so easy. Any kind of cardboard, thick cardboard, plastic container, container lids, stuff all around the house you need. You got 20 seconds to go get it. And since, I'll give you a second to get back. All right, since we're on the one minute game, we're going to stick with this theme, this PFT theme of one minute for every set. Just grab something to slide on. There's so many things you have around you can just grab and slide on. So you just need to put whatever you have on the floor on your feet. We're now going to ride the wave off of that plank walk we just did. You're going to do two low plank jacks, two high plank jacks. So your feet are under the sliders. You're down low for two jacks. Come up for two jacks. Low. High. We're going for one minute. If you can't do that, just hold whatever position you can hold. If you have to, you can put your knees on the floor. You can modify it. And if you don't have sliders, all you do is you break in the jacks. So can find something to slide, which I'm sure you can. We're going for a minute. Let's get lined up on the floor. We're all ready to roll. So we're going two low plank jacks, two high plank jacks. A couple of us are MIA, but we're going to jump right in. We're going to keep this moving. We'll just go on a minute. And three, two, one, and go. You're going for a minute. Two, four. Give me sliders. Two jacks. This movement. Two jacks low. Two jacks high. Stiff, straight, strong, abs. And if for whatever reason you couldn't find something to slide, just do jumps. No big deal. We're going for a minute. But on the PFT, we did an actual minute on the clock because we needed it to be consistent. Right now, not so much. Now the minute's going to be in my head. We're going for a minute. The harder you work, the faster you move, the quicker it will be. Just make your body straight, locked in place, stiff as a board. 
two slider plank jacks low, two slider plank jacks high. Keep it moving. If you are not sweating, you are doing something wrong. My sweatshirt is already soaked. We're too low, too high. Keep moving. Keep rolling. 15 seconds. 15 seconds. Do what you got to do. Modify it before you stop. If you have to, just slide one leg out at a time if you have to, rather than stopping. The slider's up. No big deal. And time. You're going to put the slider under one foot. Oh. So let's all put it under your right leg. All you do is slide into a reverse lunge right, and then slide into a side lunge. So the right leg goes back, right leg goes out to the side. When that right leg goes out to the side, you're actually working your left side. Really, on both of these, you're working your left side. When the right leg goes back, the left foot is the one that's working. So the slider's on your right foot when you're working your left. Let's go. It's a minute. Slide. And, then, and if you had to, if you can have a slider, simple, all you do is go reverse lunge and step out for a side lunge. Let's roll. That slider slide out with the leg straight. So right leg steps back, and right leg slides to the side. You go for a minute on each side. Slide out, slide back. You didn't find something to slide on? Find something later. There's only one round you need this for. It's only like four, literally four exercises. But find something easier because it's so easy to find stuff to slide on. You make your homemade sliders. You keep paper plates literally on a carpet and they work like magic. I got this. That'll work. <laughs> Whatever you can find is all you need. Keep rolling, keep driving. That right leg goes back, don't forget. The leg that's moving is not necessarily the leg that's working. When I step back with the right leg, it's my left glute working. That's my left side working. 10 seconds. Nice, sit back on the hip and the heel, that left leg. Fire that left glute, that left glute should be on fire by now. And time, switch the slider over to the left side. So now the left leg is stepping back to the lunge, and left leg slides out. So now you're actually working your right leg. So put the slider on the left leg. Reverse lunge with the left. Slide out with the left. Right there. Let's roll. We're doing it. Minute. Oh, good thing. Good thing I remember to put shorts under here because I didn't even check and I just pulled off the sweatpants because I was getting too hot. Good thing I had my PPD shorts underneath. That would have been bad. Because I don't wear underwear either, so that really would have been bad. Anyway, back to our lunges. Slide that left leg back, slide the left leg out to the side. Reverse lunge, side lunge, working that right side. Firing up the right glute, sitting on the hip and the heel of the right side on that slider. And time. All right, we're gonna go push up. The, the weight, the, bed, the slider is only under your right hand. You're going to do push up. At the bottom, you're going to slide and push it up. You're going to slide and push up. At the bottom, as you're going down, you're going to slide forward as much as you can. If you can't do that, you're just going to do push up, shoulder tap right. But just the right side. For the first 30 seconds, we're going to switch the slider over. For the second 30 seconds, it's push up and slide. So as you're coming down, you can put your feet apart if you need to, just sliding forward. And just go as low as you can. We're rolling. The clock started. Let's do it. 30 seconds each side. As you're going down, slide that right arm forward. If it doesn't work for you, just do a shoulder tap with the right arm. It's only right arm right now. So as you go down, slide that right arm forward. Come up, bring it back in. Or do a right shoulder tap. Yes, we're cruising, keep those back straight. Don't dip your necks down. Same side on the shoulder tap every time. And switch, switch sides. Still go push up, but now put the slider on your left side. As you come down, slide forward. Or do push up, left shoulder tap. Whatever works. Right to it, right to it, the other side, 30 seconds. Push up, left arm moves. Either slides out or just on the shoulder tap. Keep rolling. Back straight. 
Work that chest, the shoulder, the tricep on that working side. You need to brace the core. Put your feet a little further apart if you need to. It's a little too hard to balance. When you're moving that arm, just separate your feet a little bit. Back straight, abs strong. Locked in place. Stiff as a board. Five seconds. Keep driving, keep grinding. And time. You're going to go right onto your back. The sliders under each leg, under each foot. Hip raise. And you're going to do hamstring curls. So alternating hamstring curls. From that bridge position. So one under each foot. Let's do it. Begin. So hips are up. Fully extend one leg. Squeeze the hamstring back in. Fully extend the other leg. Squeeze the hamstring back in. Keep your hips elevated. The hips are not sinking down. You can put your hands straight in the air. So hips stay up the entire time. They stay elevated. You just extend one leg out. When you're bringing that leg back in, dig that heel into the floor to squeeze your hamstring, to grind it, squeeze it. Keep tension on those hamstrings the entire time. We're moving, we're working, keep them tight. We're going for a minute, you got 30 seconds left. Keep driving, keep driving. Squeeze that hamstring. Tight, tight, tight. And time. You're gonna flip right back over onto your forearms on a plank position. Look up here. You're low. You're just gonna take your arm up high. Full speed with one arm. Full speed. Full range of motion, 30 seconds per arm. So low plank, just here. Down even lower than where you started. So it's going to be bop, 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 bop. Full speed, grinding it out, tension, like you're a buzzsaw. Dig it in there, let's roll. Locked in place, we're going 30 seconds per side on a low plank, down on your forearms. So you're here. Bop, 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 bop. Slide it. Fast, we need this to be fast. Full speed. 10 seconds on this side, 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Switch sides, right to the other arm, right to the other arm, right away. Switch sides, switch sides. Right to it, right to it. Pump that arm out, brace your core. Body should be straight and strong. Stay on the board. Yes, we're working, we're working. Stay tight, stay tight. That arm is going bop, 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 full speed while you're holding the plank on the opposite side. And if you don't have a slider, it doesn't matter. You're still just reaching, you're pumping, you're pumping. If you have the slider, press it into the floor, dig it, grind in your back, relax, your core. Body is straight and strong, strong glutes, strong legs, five seconds. Pumping it, keep pumping it, full speed, forward. Three, two, one, and hop on your feet. Shake it out. You don't need that slider anymore. You don't need that slider. Cross to the side. If you didn't find the best option for a slider, now you know what it's like. You'll find another one and have it always ready. It's so easy to get a slider in your house. You have a hundred different things you could use for a slider in your house. All right, real quick. We're going to go a minute just to get your legs flowing. We're about to do some isometric holds for a minute each. Before we die, we just want to get the blood flowing. So you're just going to be here. Fast feet. Fast feet. Every eight, every eight steps, you're going to turn your hips right. Eight steps, turn your hips left. For a minute. And three, two, one, and go. So it's here. One of the last Hips only. So my chest is forward, but my hips are turning. Eight pop. Eight pop. Eight pop. I need it to be full speed. I need it to be all out, fast feet, a little wider. Get low, get low. Wide and low. Pop, pop. One, eight, pop. One, eight, pop. Turn those hips. It's a minute straight. 
Don't slow down. Don't fade. Your whole body should not be turning. Look, my chest is lower. Just my lower body is turning. You want to crunch in the waist there. Chest stays forward. It's not a full 180 degree turn. Not yet, at least. Keep pumping those. Pumping those in 15 seconds. Pop. Pop. Eight steps. Pop. Those eight steps should take about a half a second. Full speed. Five. Four. We're not stopping. Three. Two. One. And time. That was a quick, fast paced set. Because these next few are going to be slow, slower paced, but hard. Just to get it going, I want you to hold the push up position. High plank, push up position. Go, begin. You're going for 60 seconds. All you're doing is holding a push up position for 60 seconds. Simple stuff. Going in three, two, one, and hold. It's just a push up position. You have to modify and modify it. Now, when you're holding this, I need your hands directly under your shoulders. Your feet together, heel to heel, toe to toe. Take your hands, press them into the floor. While you're pressing them in the floor, imagine that you're trying to squeeze your hands together to squeeze your chest. I need you to squeeze your core. Imagine someone's going to come underneath and kick you in the stomach, and you need to brace your core. I need you to pinch your glutes together. This is how a push-up position should be. And we're going to hold it for 60 seconds. Stiff as a board. Tight, strong, controlled. Press in, squeeze the floor. You're trying to crush the floor together. That's the way you need to do it. You got 15 seconds. We're just holding a position. We're just sitting still. Hold the damn line. Hold the ground. Finishing in five, four, three, two, one. Right away on your feet. 60 seconds, right away. Holding a deep, full squat. Full squat and hold. Where your thighs are parallel to the floor, though. Your elbows are not touching your thighs. Your hands are in front of you. You're also not sliding lower than parallel down here where you're just resting. It's where it's on your quads, your glutes, your hips. Your head is up. Your chest is out. Don't let your upper body lean forward. Mark, straighten your upper body out a little bit. Don't let yourself tilt, tilt forward. Dana, you can bend the knees a little more. Get a little lower. Get low, get low, hold it for a minute. And I'm actually timing that one. That was only 30 seconds. Get down there, get down there and hold. Squeeze your glutes, squeeze your quads, squeeze your core. Tight, solid, it's just a hold. You're doing nothing, you're just sitting there. You're sitting on the damn toilet bowl. You can do that for a minute. Lock in place. That's where you need to be. 15 seconds. Hold, hold the line. Hold the line, do not crumble. Strong quads, strong glutes, strong core. Head up, chest out. Time. We're going back to that push-up position. Except you're going to hold halfway down. Halfway down, you're going to hold. Everyone in this table will do that. Unless if you know you have an injury that you just modify, you can do it up on an angle. If you need to, you can just hold. We're going to be doing some bridges, but you can just get extra bridges if you have to. You know you can't do it on your shoulders. You're holding. Going in three, two, one, and hold. Half of the push up position. So halfway down, right here. This should be hard to hold, even for 15 seconds. And we're going for a freaking minute. You're just holding halfway down. Not all the way down. Halfway. You're not coming up. You're not resting. Hold the damn line. That's only been 20 seconds. You need to hold halfway down. If you need to put your feet further apart, put them further apart. Mark, get a little lower. Josephine, a little lower if you can. Put your feet further apart. A lot of you can't see. You're hiding. Ronnie, make sure you don't bend your neck or dip your hips. We still got 20 seconds. It's only a minute. Think about it. You only have to hold this just for a minute. 15 seconds. Tight chest, tight, strong shoulders, strong triceps. Feed your core. You're working like crazy. Just used to be shaking. Freaking don't keep stopping. Die before you stop. You should be falling on your face. That's all you need to stop. Because you can't hold yourself up anymore. Don't quit. Time. Right leg forward. Right away. You're on your feet. You're going to switch squat. Right leg forward. Right here. 90 degrees. And we're holding for a minute. Going in three, two, 
One, go, right leg forward, split squat. Right leg is forward, both knees in 90 degrees, and you're holding. That back knee is not on the floor. It's an inch or two off the floor, hovering above the floor. Do not touch it to the floor. We're going a minute, that was only 15 seconds. Listen, this is all in your head. Just block it out, just suck it up. This is all just mental tough. All this is is mental, this is not physical. You're sitting still. Just dig that right heel into the floor. Tighten up the right glute. Tighten up your abs. And don't fall for anything. Do not break. Do not crumble. No hands on your legs. No hands on your legs. Don't rest your arm on your legs either. We can hold something heavy if we need to. We still got 20 seconds. That right leg is forward. We're holding tight, solid, stiff, unbreakable. Nothing to make you fall down right now except for you. Except for your head. That's it. Your mind is the only thing that can make you come down right now. Nothing else. Five, four, three, two, one, and right away, switch to the other side. Right away, left leg forward, going to three, two, one, and hold on the left side for a minute. And I'm giving you pretty legitimate minutes here. Lock. So sit on your left heel, on your left glute. Tight. Lock in your mind. Tighten up your freaking mind. Core is tight, upper body straight up and down. Left leg is forward, and you're just holding. That back knee is not on the floor. You're straight and strong. Both knees bending 90 degrees. Locked, locked. Hold your ground, hold your ground. You still got 20 seconds, 20 seconds to hold. All you're doing is holding. Fight it, fight it, shake, shake, and fall and die before you quit. Get back low, get back low. Come on, we got 10 seconds. Hold your ground, hold the line. Hold, hold, hold. Three, two, one, five. We're now holding the bottom of a push up position for a minute. That means your chest is gonna hover about two inches off the floor. Right down here. Going in three, two, one. You have to do it on your knees. This one you can actually do on your knees and it'll still make you stronger. Normally we wouldn't let push-ups on your knees, but if this one you have to do it because it's hard to hold, then do it. Go, we already started. You're down low. It's just your chest. Two inches off the floor. One inch off the floor. Just hovering. So you need to lock your chest, your shoulders, your tries. Lock in place. Your core is holding everything together. Brace your abs. Brace, squeeze your glutes. Strong quads and legs. Hold that bottom. We shouldn't be coming up yet. That's only 30 seconds. We got 30 seconds to go. Hold the bottom. Hold the bottom. Fight for this. Fight for it. This is going to get you strong. This is going to get you mentally strong. Attack these sets. Just sit still and squeeze and hold and breathe. And don't give a shit about anything else in the world except for these last 10 seconds. That's it. Locked, a little lower, a little lower, hold it, tight, straight, strong. Five, four, three, two, one, time. You're now gonna go right into a bridge with the right leg. So only on your right leg, I don't care what you do with your left leg, hands are in the air, hips up as high as you can, right leg bridge, right leg on the floor, going in three, two, one. And go. So your right leg is bent, pushing through the heel on the floor, the heel of the right leg. I don't care where you put your left leg. I don't care if it's low, as long as it's not touching the floor. As long as your left leg is not touching the floor, squeeze. Your right heel needs to be into the ground, not your right toes. So dig the right heel to the ground, squeeze that right side of your glute. Hold that up position a little higher, a little tighter. Solid. Locked in place. Squeeze that glute. Crush that right glute. We're going for a minute. You still got 25 seconds. Get those heads up higher. Hips up higher. Listen, in your head, connect your mind to your right side of the glute. Consciously squeeze that right glute. The entire time, crush it. Squeeze it so it's going to freaking burst. That's how you need to connect to the muscle. We got 10 seconds. We're not coming down. It's just a bridge. It's just a bridge. Get your ass up in the air. Ass is up. Hold, hold, time. Right away, you're gonna go on to the right side for a right low plank. 
We're not going to go right high plank for a minute, only low plank. So on your forearm, feet stacked. If you have to, you can put your right leg forward and your left leg back for a split. But if you can, feet stacked, elbow directly on your shoulder. Going in three, two, one. Right side, right low plank. Go. Make sure right elbow is aligned up directly on your shoulder. If you can, stack your feet on top of each other. If you can't stack them on top of each other, stagger them with your right leg forward. Right leg forward if you have to. And hold. Feet on top of each other, right here, locked. Dig in the right side of your waist. Squeeze in the right oblique. That's what's holding you up right now, that right side of your waist. We're going for a minute. You still got 30 seconds. Stiff as a board. Do whatever you need to do with that left arm. Don't care. Put it up. Put it down. But hold the line. Hold your ground. Straight and strong. If you need to modify it, just put your knees on the floor. Or stagger your feet. You got 15 seconds. Lock, lock, lock. Stiff on your side. Five seconds coming up. Four, three, two, one. Flip right over onto your back. For that left glute, hold right here. Push through your left heel. Right leg in the air. Left glute. Going in three, two, one, go. Hit it. So left glute is squeezing. The left heel is on the floor. We're going for a minute. Do not crumble. Do not fall down. Locked in place. Straight and strong, stiff, squeezing that left side, that left, that left glute, that left side, left side of your waist to keep that leg in the air. Solid core, solid glutes, hold the line. Push that heel into the ground. Got 30 seconds, 30 seconds, we're in the air. Hips are up, strong glute. Solid, solid, consciously squeeze that glute. If you feel your hips sinking down, Push through the floor and raise your hips up a little higher. Everyone push your hips a little higher. One inch higher. Every one of you. One inch higher. Get them up there. Yes, Josephine, get them up. Kendra, squeeze it. Get it up there. Jackie, I can't see. You're hiding out. Dane, I see a foot in the air, so I'm guessing there's a glute in the air. If a foot's in the air, I guess an ass is in the air. Let's keep it up. And time. Right away, onto that left side, low plank hold. Going in three, two, one, and you're here on the left forearm. Elbows line up directly under your shoulder. Squeeze that left side of your waist. Hold tight. A minute, left side plank hold. Tight, 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 tight. Hips, hips up, body straight, strong. Dig in your core. Do what you got to do. There we go. Modify it. Come up with something close to it. Nice hold, Kendra. That's exactly what to do. You can't hold that side. Hold a regular plank, tuck that knee in to get the effect of one side. Perfect. Ronnie, straighten those hips out. Don't let them bend and straighten your neck out. So be a straight line, straight posture. Catherine, nice plan and picture on the wall. That's all I see. Dana, hold the line, hold the line. Edu, get those hips up there. Straight, stiff, strong. Got 15 seconds. 15. Hold tight, tight, tight. Don't crumble. You're just laying there. You're just laying still on the floor. There's no reason to stop. You're sitting still. Five, four, three, two, one. Time. Right back onto your back. In that bridge. Hold up. You're going to slow. One second to move your right knee. One second hold. One second down, then four, hold for five, down for six. So it's a six second rep. Nice and slow. One, two, three, four, hold for five, down for six. So it's a slow motion bridge alternating knee tuck. So it's a six second rep. One second to move the right knee, hold for a second. One second to lower down in your control. One second to move the left knee, hold for a second. One second down. To be a long six second rep. Six seconds for every rep. Dig in your glutes. Dig in your core. Tight. Strong. Get them up there. Get them up there. 
Hips stay high the whole time. Hips do not sink down. Nice, slow reps. Squeeze, hold, lower down, under control. Squeeze up, slow, hold, lower down, under control. Strong abs, strong glutes. Let's go, 25 seconds, 25 seconds. Stay tight, strong, your glutes, your core should be tight. This is how you get a strong core. This is how you get a flat abs. This is how you get strong glutes. Holding, squeezing, finding that connection from your mind to the muscle, focusing on what you're squeezing, making it pop. And time. Right back on your feet. On your feet, you're going to that split spot position, right leg forward. This is going to be just 30 seconds each side. All you're doing, the same idea we just do with those knee tops. You're going down for one second, hold for one second, up for one second. So a three-second rep. One, hold for one, up for one. Right leg stays forward the entire time. Go, going in three, two, one, go. It's going to be just 30 seconds per side. So that's going to be 10 reps per side because it should be three seconds per rep. So squeeze in that right glute, down low. Hold at the bottom, three seconds per rep. 10 reps on that side, give me 30 seconds. Down nice and slow, push through that heel, squeeze that glute. This is how you work your quads, this is how you work your glutes. Keep it tight, keep it strong. Abs, brace your abs. Let's go three more reps, three more reps each. There's one. Control down, nice and slow. Don't forget to hold. You need to hold for a second at the bottom. You should be holding at the bottom for a second every time, then one second up. It's one second down, so let's slow than we do. Hold for a second, one second up. You need to consciously work on these reps, not just rushing through shit all the time. Focus on what you're doing. Switch, left leg forward. Left leg forward. Think about it. Every exercise you do, you need to have this type of mental connection to it. Not just going through the motions. Just because you've done a push up a million times doesn't mean you don't need to focus 100% on it. So, right here. Left heel, I'm going down for one second. I'm going to hold for one second while I'm squeezing, locking this leg in, and up for one second, squeezing, constantly squeezing the damn glute. Down for one second, hold for a second, up for a second. Locked, straight, strong, abs tight, it's just 30 seconds. You just need about 10 reps on this. That's it. Solid, solid, solid. Coming up, a few more, a few more. Let's get three more each, nice and slow. Don't forget that one second hold at the bottom. We need that one second hold down there. Squeeze it up. Down and hold for a second, and one second up. Tight, locked, strong, and time. Shake those legs out, just stretch those quads real quick. We are not done, we still got a lot to get to. We're gonna pick up the pace here, so now you just work the crap out of your legs, your core, your arms, and just holding those positions. Now we're going to completely go to the opposite end of the spectrum and work as fast as possible. So we're hitting it from every angle. So this round is going to be a minute. You're going to all you got to do is four high knees, four mountain climbers, four high knees, four mountain climbers. But I need this to be an all-out minute. Like I'm talking here. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, a minute, non-stop like that. That's the intensity you need. Can I get your commitment for that kind of intensity for 60 seconds straight? If I don't Woo! see that, it's going to be a lot more than 60 seconds. Let's go. Let's get it. Go on. On. Let's go in three, two, one, go. Four high knees, four climbers. All out. Bury yourself here. The only reason to slow down is because you're freaking done. You're dead. Keep driving, high knee, blah, 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 blah. down the floor for four climbers. All out for a minute. After the first few, you sure to be fast, you sure to be tired. Because you're going all out, but you're gonna suck it up and just keep frying it out one after the next. You got 30 seconds, 30 seconds. Ba 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 ba, hit the floor, ba 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 ba, the floor, under the floor. Your legs don't even stop moving. This is the same move with your legs. Let's get quick transitions. Keep moving, Dana, just a quick four, four total, four total. That's only two each leg, that's it. 
He says, come up, up, down, come up, 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 come up, up, up. Five seconds, four, three, two, one, and time. So right here, next, right away, pay attention. You're going four speed jacks. Speed jacks are your feet only going half the distance and your elbows staying bent. So one, two, three, four, four speed jacks. See, my elbows are bent. I'm just going elbow to rib, hands touching right over my head while my feet only go halfway apart. Four jacks, and then you're going eight speed ladders. So if your feet were apart, think about going in, in, out, out. So one, two, three, four. Four speed ladders. Four speed jacks, four speed ladders. So you're here. One, two, three, four. Then one, two, three, four. So your feet go out, out, in, in, out, out, in, in. Like if you're going for a ladder, a speed ladder. Four speed jacks, four speed ladders, 60 seconds, going in three, two, one, go. Speed jacks, your elbows are bent. Ha, ha. Ha, 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 fast speed, fast speed. Quickly. Those are speed jacks, your elbows are bent. It's a half range motion of a regular jack, but it's 10 times faster. Elbows hit your ribs and your hands touch right above your head. So your elbows stay bent like this the entire time by your feet. Joanna, your feet are going too wide in those jacks. You're taking real short choppy. Real short choppy jack, speed, with the arm, pop, 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 pop. Elbows bang into your ribs. You still have 20 seconds, I need to pick up the pace. 20 seconds, pick up the speed. Pull out, pull out, pull out. We're rolling, we're rolling. Couple more, couple more. The fast you go. I need you to keep pumping this. Speed jacks. Elbows are bent just like this. Hop, hop, hop. Five, four, three, two, one, time. Next, we're going to go four squat jumps, four watch jumps, four knee jump jumps. Four squat jumps. One. Let's go. Follow me right along. We're starting right now. Together. Let's go. Jump, this is the same side. 
Double pump on the same side. Two on the same side. Then two on the same side the next time. So run for eight. Two on the same side. Run for eight. Two on the other side. You can jump. You can jump. Don't be afraid to let the giddy up. Get the giddy up going. Get over that hurdle. Master feet. You got 30 seconds. I need those feet popping. Get that knee up. Keep pumping. Roll it. 20 seconds, 20 seconds. Eight steps, hurdle hop. Eight steps, other side. Four, eight steps, double pump on the right. Eight steps, double pump on the left. But keep pushing the pace. Five. So we're just repeating those last four sets we did. One more time each for only 30 seconds each. Last four sets of so we're back to the mount climbers and high knees. The four mount climbers, four high knees. So high knees for four, mount climbers for four. Just for 30 seconds. Give me 30 seconds, everything you have. Those last four exercises you did, those last four combos, we're repeating just for 30 seconds each. Let's go, mount climbers, high knees, four and four, going in three, two, one, boom, go. Four high knees, four mount climbers. It's only 30 seconds. I need you to go all out. I need you to push the pace. Pump it as hard as you can. As fast as you can. Four high knees. Hit the floor. Four climbers. Right back up. Hop, 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 hop. Up for four. Down for four. Up for four. Down for four. Keep pumping through it. Keep switching through it. We're rolling. We're cruising. Let's go, you little midget with the red front of the red couch. I see you. Quick fix your hair. Keep pumping. I see you. I'm watching. Let's keep rolling. Keep rolling. There we go, Catherine. Nice. Up for four. Down for four. It's just four total. Time. We're going right to those speed jacks. Four speed jacks to four speed ladders. Going in three, two, one. Go. Speed jacks for four. Then speed ladder for four. Speed jack, four. Speed ladder, four. 30 seconds. We are rolling. Those speed jacks, your elbows to stay bent. Hands is touching right above your head. Elbows tap your ribs. And the feet go half the distance of a regular dummy jack. Just 30 seconds. You got 10 seconds to go. Your feet are moving. You're pumping. Keep breathing. Keep kicking. Keep bouncing. Hello, I'm up. I'm up speeding. Speed ladder. Fast speed. And time. We got the squat jumps. We're just going to go two of each on this since it's 30 seconds. Two squat jumps. Two lunge jumps. Two knee tuck jumps. Let's do it. Two, two, two for 30 seconds going in three. Two, one. Bam, let's roll. Two squat jumps. You can't do the lunge jump. Go split jack or modify split jack or just the first lunge. Modify it. Yeah. Going halfway down. Always way to do it. Always way to keep moving. Two squat jump. Two lunge jump. Two knee tuck jump. You can't do knee tuck jump. Just fall to the side. One at a time. Dig, dig, dig. Keep it rolling. Ten seconds. Ten seconds. And time. Let's go.
I was texting that. I want to let you know that obviously you know we have the free Boston class every Thursday night, C15, totally free to the public. Please get your friends, family members, and coworkers on that. In addition to that, this week, starting tomorrow, there's going to be a free kids class at 3 p.m. for kids only. So we all need to be totally free to get Facebook Live alone, especially for kids. And from there, we'll see about adding some additional ones, some kids class on Zoom for you here on the VIP page. But this one's going to be some public one. I have kids here and there. I know they're locked up in the house. They need something to do. They need to burn some of their energy off. This will be them something to look forward to, something exciting and fun for them to do. It's going to be a mix of boot camp boxing. They need zero equipment. It's going to be tomorrow. That's Wednesday at 3 p.m. for kids only. So don't forget about that. Roll it to the side and stretch on the quad. Land your side. Stretch on the quad. Steve, your voice is going like in and out. It's kind of doing weird things with the speaker. I don't know on my side. I don't know if it's everybody else. All right, so I was just, I was just reminding you about the kids' class. I hope you can hear me now. But the kids' class tomorrow, 3 p.m., kids only, Facebook Live follow along, open to the public, totally free for everybody. And from there, we're going to just figure out what type of schedule and kids' classes will work on forward just for you in the VIP. Okay. All right, each of that, go on to your back. Put your left leg straight and hug your right knee to your chest. Right knee to your chest and just hold. Hold and stretch for 30 seconds. Also, I'm sure if you're here, you know how amazing and the value you can get and how you need this exercise, this fitness, something to keep you sane. So I encourage you to please share this with your friends, your family members. Have them come and try out a session for free if they want. We can get them a temporary code to come in here to try out a session. Let them jump in, try it out, and see how it can help them, how it's possible at home. People don't realize how they can get such ridiculous workout at home with little to no equipment. So send them to your friends, your family members, your coworkers. Send us their information. We'll reach out to them. We'll get them hooked up. Get them here. They need it. They need it now more than ever. All right. Ease out of that. Straighten your right leg out and stretch your left knee to your chest. Left knee to chest, right leg straight. So again, just a reminder, the kids' class is tomorrow, Wednesday, 3 p.m. Free boxing class, open to the public. Also is Thursday, 6, 15 p.m. And then we have the 21 days for $21. Get your friends and family members. They need this now more than ever. Get them onto it. We will hook them up. They can join right here with you to try this out for three, four weeks because this situation is not changing anytime soon. They're going to need this. They can't use this sit and wait approach. It's not going to help them. It's going to dig them deeper in a hole of darkness and depression. And <laughs> so get them on this. They need this now. Ease that leg out and take both knees, hug both knees into your chest. Both knees. Make sure you're breathing while you're holding that. Don't crush your own chest. And ease out of it. If you have everyone come up, un un unmute yourselves. Right now is the time. If you have any questions, need help with any of the exercises, need help with any modifications, with your nutrition, with your herbal life, now is the time that you should be loading up on your herbal life stuff. We pr practically live off that stuff here because – there's not many options out there. No one wants to go to nasty grocery stores. So I live off that stuff all day. But if you have any questions on what you should be eating, your nutrition, your modifications, the schedule, the kids' class, anything, now is the time. Let's talk about it. Anyone need help with anything? Anyone have any questions on anything? Robin, can you just text me the um, link to my phone instead of um, Facebook? Yeah, sure. Thank you. No problem. What do you want me to do with my PT test? You're going to send it to me, Ronnie. Oh. Okay. So either, yeah, so to the text that I sent yesterday, you can respond to that, or I'm going to put the phone number in the chat. It's 845-893-6529. Yeah, send all your scores. We can log them in. You also should know your own scores and where you were at and keep track of it yourself on just a little piece of paper or a spreadsheet or something. You can see where you are week to week. And don't forget, stay consistent with the way you're doing it. Like, don't do it a different way to make it easier to beat your numbers. If anything, make it harder. Your numbers should be going, if you're making it harder, obviously going to go down. 
All right, before we go, everyone, why don't we get a flex on for a quick picture? <laughs> Going in three, two. Where's the let's see some muscle? Three, two, one. Bam. And we are done. If you need anything, you need help with reach out to me. We need to hop on a call. We need to help with nutrition, with your eating, with your scheduling, with your, your time, anything. Your structure, your schedule, in the gym, at the gym, your personal life. Let's talk about it. Catherine, you need help something? <laughs> Thank you. Thank, Thank you. Thank you, guys. Hey, what is that Thank number? Have a Have great day. Bye, Christina. Bye. 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 Great Bye. job, guys. Great Bye. job, Rocky. Bye, 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 Jackie. Bye, Bye, Ronnie. Awesome Bye. job, everybody. Great job to push through Thank today. You. Thank you, coach. Thanks, Steve. Bye, everybody. Take right, care. Have a great day. Give yourselves an awesome day, guys.